left needs a demon, the left needs an enemy, and nobody on our side in an elected position is willing to be that. And so it fell to me. Glenn Beck to me is right on, Daddy-O. Glenn Beck is a result of my success. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just love my country, and I fear for it. Well, maybe birth certificates in Osaka. But he's sitting there, oh, yeah, is it just me? Or does this sound more and more like Venezuela's media system than America's? We're the laughing stock in Tora Bora. We are mirroring the Weimar Republic. We are the laughing stock in the caves of Pakistan. We may be Rome. We're a laughing stock in Tehran. Prime of the century and the cover-up. The cover-up will blow your mind. Damascus. Yeah, we're a laughing stock there. You are about to enter the no-spin zone. Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thank you for watching us tonight. These are the original feminazis, folks. Every abortion possible must happen. In the state of Kansas, there is a doctor, George Tiller, who will execute babies for $5,000. This is not good. Tiller is executing fetuses in his Wichita clinic for $5,000. So much for the feminazi movement. Tiller aborts thousands of babies pretty much for any reason. And every abortion that can happen, that doesn't happen, is a setback for the cause. This man will terminate fetuses at any time for $5,000. What women want is to be taken care of by government. If you want to kill a baby, you hire Tiller, you got to pay him $5,000 up front, and he'll kill the baby. Women define security as the government taking care of them. Dr. George Tiller destroys fetuses for just about any reason right up until the birthday. They care about themselves and their own power and the country be damned. George Tiller, okay, can kill a baby, kill a baby, a half hour before the baby's supposed to be birthed for no reason whatsoever other than the mother has a pain in her foot. Well, you know, I think that he was born in Hawaii because there was the birth announcement put in the newspaper, but obviously if there's... She's guilty of widespread there, bestiality. She doesn't seem to be real upset about this guy operating a death... Mill. She has screwed every rhino in the country. I wanted George Tiller to go, yay! It isn't shown, and, and that's kind of um, perplexing for a lot of people. I can make yeah. more money okay. killing babies now. I love the women's movement, especially when walking behind it. I am one to believe that life starts at the moment of conception. I'm a huge supporter of women. I wouldn't want to be these people if there is a judgment day. Finally, you're going to do a tea party event in yeah. Nashville, Tennessee. Can't wait. In uh, in February. Well, that new kind I, you of you wonder what in that I think is um, scares kind of those steps people towards about a fundamental transformation of America America's that some want to see today. I think of, again of that it, it every is state an attempt to revisit and rewrite history. Uh, I, 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 I think we should just kind of keep this clean, then. keep it simple, and America, go back to what is our founders and our founding documents of our meant. They're quite clear that we would create law based on the God of the Bible and the Ten Commandments. Thanks, but no, thanks for that bridge to nowhere. There are traitors in America. Whoever leaked all those State Department documents to the WikiLeaks website is a traitor and should be executed or put in prison for life. Uh, okay, here it is. Drum roll, please. The far left in this country, the zealots, I mean, these are zealots, are Nazis. The Nazis were using early American progressive tactics. They use the Move On website to smear this network. Nazis and communists. What ties them together? They lie. It's socialism. Distort. We're on the road to fame. To the Hitler Youth. Propaganda techniques perfected by Dr. Joseph Goebbels. They would make Joseph Goebbels proud. You call me a Nazi? The Nazi Minister of Information. This is what Nazi Joseph Goebbels said about the Hitler Youth. The Obama health care logo is damn close to a Nazi swastika logo. If you look back at what happened in Germany, you cannot escape the similarities. He, he gestures like a geisha. America is repeating the mistakes of the Weimar Republic. It's, I mean, it's as effeminate as it can be. Well, if there are feminazis, there are enviro Nazis. It is the greatest scam in history. I'm amazed, appalled, and highly offended by it. Global warming. It is a scam. 
I know how sickening the thought is. I'm the one who has to come up with it. I'm thinking about killing Michael Moore. They blamed homelessness on Reagan. I think I could. These people blamed AIDS on Reagan. I think he could be looking me in the eye. Um, helping the... Oh. It's got to be all about job creation, too. And I could just be choking the life out. You know why they blamed AIDS on Reagan? You know, it took me about a year to start hating the 9-11 victims' families. They actually wanted us to believe that Reagan had the disease, was sneaking into gay people's houses at night, impregnating them with the disease, and what out. This is not just poor people mad at rich people. This is torture? This is coordinated. Slapping somebody in the face is torture. Alaska has a very narrow maritime border. Sleep deprivation? Between a foreign country, Russia, is torture. You are watching the beginning and the birth of the new world order. Throwing somebody in a little cramped environment. This will be on fire. This is already on fire. This is on fire. And you can actually see Russia from land here in Alaska. We slap people. And you want to call me crazy? I just slap myself. Go to hell. I'm torturing myself right now. That's torture. It's funny that a comment like that was uh, kind of made to Call me crazy sure. all you want. I don't know, you know. America, I'm going to shoot straight. I think I've wasted your time. And I apologize for that. Bill O'Reilly, thanks for watching us tonight.